Okay, we're trying it again. Hopefully, people can get in this time. I don't know what was going on before, but I had people tell me they could not get into the channel or that they couldn't, they weren't allowed to comment. There's Tiffany. Somebody got in. Ah. I'm having a day, folks. I'm having a day. I don't know where all my people are. <laughs> oh, well. Hey, Tiff. Can you... Uh, yeah, Tiff is here. Yay, Tiff. Let's see if I can get my links back up. Um, I'm sore. I hurt. <laughs> Truthfully, I hurt really bad. Uh, I did not break any ribs. I was very fortunate. I have bruised the muscles that between the ribs and the doctor in the ER told me that that hurts just as much as a broken rib and he didn't really have to tell me that because I figured that out all by myself uh, so anyway let me get this camera situation straightened out get the Grinch off of there for a minute Although I feel a little like the Grinch this morning. Uh, pardon the mess in the background. I've been working on lots of projects. I was supposed to do a farmer's market uh, Thursday and it rained. And then I was supposed to do one yesterday, but there was no way. <laughs> new, new, and new. <laughs> that that I was going to, ow, 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 it hurts even just to reach up here and do this. It's not fun. So, if I don't move my right side so much, I'm okay. But my right side is banged up bad. Anyway, we'll wait around. I'm particularly waiting for one person who was, oh, I'll be there, I'll be there. I'll have money. So, Randy McCormick, wake up, buddy. <laughs> As you can see, Tiff, I didn't put on any makeup because it's hard to move around. So, I'm not going to sit here all day waiting on people. I'll just have it another time. If, if I don't get anybody in here in 20 minutes, then I'm done. But, yeah. Oh, goodness. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm okay. They gave me some pain medication. It's not really strong enough, but it helps a little bit. Uh, so I'm just gonna have to uh, suck it up, as they say. Yeah, I worked all morning. Yeah, there's M3. He's back there taking him a nap. M3, Miss Tiffy says she loves you. Ow, can't turn that way very well. He's napping. He's pigged out on catnip and kitty treats. And so he's, he's napping right now, for which I am grateful because earlier he was just running up and down. Absolutely insane. Uh, well, ah, Ugh, a creature. Well, anyway, anything in particular you're interested in, Tiff? <laughs> what do you think? What did you think of my uh, my uh, Grinch? <laughs> He's what caused me to get in trouble and fall down. Now that I think about it. That little Grinch right there. I'm going to see if I can do this. I've got the whole 
whole tray with the uh, the snowman and I got oh well I can't do it that way <laughs> but anyway I've got the Santas and the snowmen and the red trucks that I had before but I have some different Santas and I have now I got the Grinch I don't know what's going on with my lights <laughs> this is crazy. I put my hand up and I get more light. It, and then when I move my hand, it goes away. I don't know. Anyway, so I got, got Mr. Grinch. And I took the Grinches up to see my, to show to my sister. Because she loves the Grinch. And I thought, okay, if it passes her inspection as a Grinch fanatic, then I'll make more. So on my way back over after my sister got all excited about the Grinch uh, was when I slipped and fell. I was coming down. The, there's a handicap ramp that goes up into their house. And it was raining. And I, I fell down the boom. <laughs> so anyway, I have some different snowmen. I've got different color things. And then I made I made this set. This is actually kind of a set, but but they can be on their own. They're just a little more more modern style. So I made those just for something different. Let you see a red truck. Okay. I'll get a red truck. I got a couple different red trucks. I mean, the trucks are the same, but the trim's different. Move these guys out of here. Okay. There's this one's got Jolly Holly around the edge of it. And this one has more Christmas trees, like the one that's in the back of the truck. And this one, I, I did a little different. I haven't put anything around the edge yet. I haven't finished this one up. But I used the puff paint to make the snow look more realistic. And then this one just has like a candy cane sort of trim. And then I got a different one. I got the other day. I'm I'm not real happy with it. I don't like the texture of it, but it's the truck is a little bit different and the tree's a little bit different. I'll figure out what I'm gonna do. So there's the red trucks. I have five of those left. I sold a bunch of red trucks two weeks ago when I did make it to the market. The first time I fell down, I have fallen twice in seven days. The first one, I was only sore for like a day, but this one, this one's worse. They also gave me a, uh, I forgot what it's called. I had one before. It's a, a thing I have to breathe into 10 times every hour. And the reason for that is because when you're hurt like this and you get kind of where you don't move around so much, they, they worry that you will get pneumonia. So uh, I have to do this breather every every hour. And then there was some other news that I didn't like. I'll have to follow up on it. I'm hoping it's just a bruise or something. But when they did the CAT scan for this, uh, they found some type of a nodule on my right lung. 
So I've got to get with my primary care and we'll have to follow that and see if it's anything significant, but it doesn't appear to be at this point. So, so anyway, there's the, the trucks. Robert Ferguson. Hey, buddy. Tiff, you have heard me talk about Robert Ferguson a bazillion times. Robert is my favorite beach metal detectorist. He lives out in California. Man of few words. <laughs> Doesn't usually post, so I'm glad to see that he has acknowledged that he's here. Um, I haven't been able to do much detecting, but uh, especially since I fell yesterday. But uh, So I don't know what's going to happen with this sale. It was supposed to happen last week, and I think that has thrown people off that it got got canceled, and then they heard that I fell again, and Yes, somebody else is here. Robert's here. I'm surprised he's not out metal detecting, but it's still kind of early in California. And uh, might be a bunch of smoke out there, too. You get, you can type yes or no for this one, Robert. Are you getting a lot of smoke from the fires where you are? Uh, Oh. Yeah, I'm not worrying about what the doctors tell me right now. Uh, because it won't do me any good anyway. <laughs> it won't do me any good. I just have to wait and see what my my primary says. So okay, good. Robert's not getting smoked out. I I wasn't sure what the uh, wind directions were out there for. There's there's the Grinch. Yeah, I'm real happy to see Robert. Uh, I'm gonna get in the next couple days because I can't really do much. I'm gonna get caught up on watching my Robert Ferguson videos. See what he's been finding. Whatever it's been. I'm sure it's more than I've been finding lately. <laughs> oh my. Oh. Yep. I've, I've never ever had one of these sales. Where I only had two people. The last one I think I had like 50 or something. But like I said. Because of. Me canceling it. And redoing it. Um. I think I I lost my viewership. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, I've been just sitting here. Uh, making Christmas ornaments and jewelry and stuff. Because there's not really much I can do. Since my body won't let me. I still have... Still making these guys. This camera angle's terrible. No, I have actually lost a lot of viewers because of that two weeks that I was gone. There's a couple other channels that I guess they didn't realize. I, you know, anyway, they scheduled over me or or in in my time slot, and. So, yeah, I did kind of lose some people. And then I found out that YouTube reset a lot of the notifications. Because I was in a channel the other night and a couple of my regulars were like, wow, where you been? I haven't seen you. I was like, I've been there. They just uh, aren't aren't getting the notifications anymore. And I checked and I knew something was wrong. And I can say this because Robert is in the room. I knew something was wrong because I was not getting notified of Robert Ferguson videos. And I have that notification set to show me anytime he posts. Because I like to watch Robert's videos. 
And I'm going, hmm, well, maybe Robert's just not doing anything because of the fires or maybe he's not feeling good or whatever. Uh, and then I went and looked and there was like four or five videos that I hadn't gotten notification on. So I'm going to, tomorrow when I can't really do anything, I was supposed to go detecting, but they said I need to rest up for a few days. So I'm going to have a Robert Ferguson marathon and watch all the ones that I didn't get notified of. Uh, I am going to get to go detecting though soon. I think Robert might have left, but uh, yeah, I don't know. So, yeah, I've got some places to go detecting. I just, oh, okay. Well, yeah, you took a week off, but there was like, when I checked, Robert, there were like five videos from you that I didn't get any notification on. So I've got to go back and look and see what the first one of those was. And then I can figure out when they did that reset. Because, yeah, I there's certain people, if I don't get a notification of their videos, I know something's wrong. And, and Robert is one of them. And uh, Rob, Fine, uh, Rob Fine's Treasure, if I don't, because I know he's on twice a week, I should always be getting a notification of him. And I haven't been. And, and I looked and he had done some, I, besides his live streams, he had done some videos. So. I, I missed a bunch of those, too. Up here on the mountain. It's it's pretty primitive where I am right now. Um, Robert, let's put it this way, buddy. Your trailer is the penthouse suite compared to the cabin I'm staying in right now. <laughs> oh... I'm just waiting for my apartment to come due. As soon as they get a unit ready for me, I'll be out of here. I'll still come out here, though, because I'm detecting this whole farm. I'm I'm doing a Robert Ferguson grid. I am gridding the farm. I have learned a lot watching Robert. I, somebody rubbed off the face of a dime? I don't even know how you would do that. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay. Well, anyway, I got, I'm not going to do a whole lot today, apparently. So it's all right with me because truth be told, I need another pain pill. I really hurt. <laughs> Robert, I used to live in a 35 year old motor home. So. When I first started watching your videos and, and I saw your trailer, I said, man, that's nicer than mine. <laughs> I, I don't care about that stuff. I'm not into, you know, got to have the nicest house, got to have the nicest car. If my car runs and it'll get me to the, the craft store and wherever it is I'm going metal detecting and wherever the music is. And if I can get to a beach, then I'm good to go. I don't have to have all that fancy schmancy stuff, but some people do. Oh. I'll show you something else I made. Uh, somebody had asked if I had any coins that, I had made into jewelry and I do, but I don't, I do, but I can't get to them because all my stuff is in storage right now, but I found these little charms. And when I first found them, I thought they were like Zodiac signs. But then when I put them under the scope, it turns out they're little replicas of coins. So I made some earrings out of those. This one I got a little green paint on by mistake when I was making the Grinch. I decided I'm going to leave it there. It gives it a little character. Uh, but anyway, so I do have those coin looking things. So made a bunch of stuff. 
nobody wants to see it, but that's all right. So anyway, I I made those, and I I was really wondering where Randy McCormick was because he specifically asked when we did the thing with the uh, the dog charms, the pick your pup. Well, last time he wanted beagles, and I finally found him some beagles, and now he's not here. Get those out of here. And I found found his beagles. They're a little bit bigger than what I wanted, but I haven't had any luck finding little beagles. I just wanted to see if. Excuse me. Because we were. I do have. Uh, all right. Eat something good, Robert. Stay on your diet, buddy. Worry about you. Yeah, I I don't know what I would do if if one day because I like to eat and I don't know what I would do if one day I woke up and somebody told me, "Oh, you're diabetic and you can't eat this anymore." And that just happened with my niece and Robert's diabetic. And uh, and not too long ago for Robert. So that would, I don't know what I would eat if they told me I had to do that. That would be a mess. Oh, and then I did. I'm just going to go ahead and show this stuff because they can watch it later and decide if they want to order something. Uh, I got the, uh, I always forget this camera's turned that way. I got the pick your pups board back up. And I don't know if you were here when we did pick your pups, but how that one worked is it's kind of a design your own earrings thing. I have the dog charms. And you get to pick whichever charm you want, charms you want. Then you get to pick your choice of bead colors. And then you get to decide if you want surgical steel, clip-on, or sterling silver for your wires. And I kind of make your earrings to order with whichever pups you want. I think number one looks like a greyhound. Number two is poodles. Number three are Dalmatians. Uh, four look like some type of setter or retriever. Number five are little Scotties. Number six are just some little hound dog puppies of some childlike variety. Number seven are Dachshunds. Number eight are some more goofy looking puppies. Nine look like some sort of bulldog. And number 10 are beagles. So we have an assortment of pups. Oh, there's James. Hi, James Eller. Um, I'm doing okay. Uh, uh, I get, I, I just can't believe I fell twice in a week. Uh, the first one was just not watching where I was going, not being familiar with the, the territory. And the second one, uh, I slipped on something in the rain. So let me show you the poodles. They're pretty cute. I can get them off the board. I have to tape them on, otherwise I. Last time I got confused because I took them off the board, and then uh, somebody said I want number two, and I couldn't remember which one that I had in the number two position. So this time I taped them on the board. I actually have a really nice cabinet to do these with when I am at a live show. I 
it has a, a glass front and I just put the the charms up there and then I have a little drawers that are on the back side that uh oops upside down poodle pardon my green looking fingernails that's paint from the Grinches I can't get the paint off okay there's a poodle so I got the poodles So, yeah, I love my little cabinet. My sister bought it for me, and it's great because it's got a, a slant front, and I just put the the charms up on the front, and I have the numbers under them, and then there's a little little row where I have the beads so people can pick them out. And then on the back side of the cabinet, it's all the little drawers so, that are numbered. So if somebody says they want number one, there they are. But uh, So there's the poodles. I took them off and I actually make kind of make these to order and they are depending upon which wires you get if you get the surgical steel they're six dollars a pair if you get the sterling they're seven because obviously yeah, got to pay extra for that sterling silver but uh, the charms are silver plate. They're not sterling. But I can do the sterling wires. So, like I said, you can uh, pick whatever colors you like for the beads. and Or if you don't want any beads at all. And then I have some that I already made just because I needed some some samples for the market I like this one this one's a dog with a bone in its mouth and I didn't put any beads on these I don't think except maybe a little silver spacer there he is little pup with a bone and these I I put these on surgical steel, so they're six. <sighs> and then I got this other pair over here that I did. I sold quite a few of these a couple weeks ago. I I went to a farmer's market. People liked the liked the pups. It's hard to set up in here, Tiff, because there's just nowhere to put anything. <laughs> This cabin is really tiny, and I have so much stuff crammed in it. Craft stuff. I don't really have any good workspace. Uh, and then these. I'm going to switch to a different camera for these. And these are also $6 ones. Come on. There. Too many cameras. These are just little puppy footprints. Oh, that's some little sparkly prism beads. Stop. Wait a minute. That I already put together. Yeah, there must be something big and exciting going on today because... Usually Kellen is here, and usually Randy McCormick is here, and sometimes George is here. So I don't know, don't know where those guys are. Well, Kellen may be working. He's a firefighter, or some sort of first responder. I think he's a firefighter because first thing he did was buy Dalmatian dogs. So I'm pretty sure he's got to do something to do with the fire department. Then I got. Little weenie dogs, Dalmatian doggies, with just some little brown wooden beads. My, I'm having a hard time doing my cameras today because, okay, the Dalmatian ones are, they're seven because they are on the sterling wires. 
but I don't think the other ones are. Oh, uh, anyway, I made a bunch of stuff, but can't can't force people to show up. Oh, and then my new ones. I haven't even got these put together yet because I just got the charms. But I got I've got horses on the way and cats. I ordered cats and none of them matched. There were supposed to be like 15 pairs. Oh, there's my Kellen. I was just talking about you. I thought maybe you were had to work or something. Internet's out. Oh, wow. That's not good. So, anyway, I ordered the cats, and they were supposed to be 15 matched pairs. I got 30 charms, not one cat that matched. Not one. So, I'm going to try to... Uh, then I ordered another package, thinking, okay, y'all get the other mates. Nope. I got 30 more cats that didn't match. So I'm going to make uh, charm bracelets or something out of those and find a different source for my kitties. Yeah, I don't know. I was just talking about that earlier, James, that um, probably about a week and a half, two weeks ago, uh, YouTube reset a bunch of notifications because... Uh, I don't know if he's still here or if he's eating breakfast, but Robert Ferguson was in here. And I watch his channel religiously, and all of a sudden I wasn't getting anything from Robert. And so I went to his channel thinking, you know, maybe there was something wrong. Because I know he's been having car trouble and stuff, and he's a metal detectorist. And I've missed like five or six videos that I just didn't. All right, Tiff. I just didn't get notified about so these are my new charms that I haven't even gotten a chance to make anything out of yet I ordered some horses because horses are very big where I live and I guess uh, where Robert Ferguson lives it's like the horse capital of California or something I don't know a lot of horses there but um, I haven't got the horses yet but when they get here I do have their shoes. I got some little horseshoes. And somebody said something about the fact that they connect at the top. And there's a reason for that. When you hang a horseshoe, you're not supposed to hang it with... You're supposed to hang it this way. If you hang it the other way, all the luck is supposed to run out. So that's the old folklore thing. So that's the way you're supposed to hang them. So we got that going on. Uh, I guess I'm going to stick one of these under the camera real quick again because I don't think Kellen was here. But I thought about Kellen when I made this. I don't know why. It just seemed an appropriate thing to do. Da, 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 da. da Grinch. <laughs> there he is, Da Grinch. That I hand painted little Grinch ornaments. Uh, my big exciting thing that I was excited about today. Uh, let me move the, the pups out of the way is the Halloween and Day of the Dead stuff. I don't think I've featured any of that on here before. Oh, I got, oops, don't want to lose any little puppy dogs. I've got a whole board full of them here. Let's see what we can I'm trying not to move too much. Oh, I fell night before last. Seriously hurt myself. Got to spend yesterday afternoon down at the local ER. 
over. So let's see what I got here. I got some, some stuff for the Day of the Dead. Some people think that the Day of the Dead is is really morbid, and actually it's not. It's a holiday, a Mexican holiday, where they honor their deceased loved ones, which I think is a swell idea. We should all honor our deceased loved ones. So these are $6 a pair or two for 10. Anytime you see me show you something on a brown card like this, that's their six each or two for 10. I'm just going to pull a few of them off. And then if you've got a color or something that you're interested in, smile for your close up, dude. Oh, yeah, that hurts. My ribs are killing me. Oh my gosh, Kellen, that's horrible. Yeah, I don't know where everybody is today. It's I've never done one where I only had two, three, four people before. Uh, and in fact, I had to restart it because Tiffany said the first time around it wouldn't even allow her to make a comment and she was trying to comment on something so don't know if that internet thing is widespread or if it's just in Kellen's area of the woods and then I got some moons and hearts these are all stone And I finally got my bezels, the rest of my bezels, for working with that box of rocks you sent me, Kellen. So, once I get into my apartment, I will be able to start working with those. My lighting is horrible in here. Nothing I can do about it. I'm on a mountain. I'm surprised I have any cell service at all, but I have to pay heavily for it. Uh, I can't get the lights. There they are. They're purple. Purple skulls. Oh, wow. Soonest they can get there is Monday. Yeah, I, I would imagine that with so many people working from home now, that the wait time is probably several days just to replace a modem. And these are kind of a rosy pink. They look a little orange in this light, but they're really, really pink. Uh, so any of those I'm just showing all this stuff because people can watch later and they can order you know based on availability they can put in the comments and order later this is one of my favorite pairs and I might keep them for myself the lighting is atrocious. I apologize. But the top one is actually turquoise. And that one is orange. And that one is red. There, that's a little better. So, I'm probably going to do an abbreviated sale today. And just do another one in a week or two. Because really, it is hurting me to move. Uh, the doctor in the ER said he was amazed with the amount of bruising that I have on my rib cage that none of my, my ribs actually were broken. So, 
believe me. I, I did not enjoy lying in the rain on that ramp for 15 minutes yelling, help, help. And we're out in the country. Nobody could hear me. So that was pretty bad. Uh, I actually did manage to get myself up. Ow, 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 ow. ow. Ow! I dropped some earrings on the floor. <laughs> Try and pick them up. Oh my goodness! The little tiny coins—they're not real coins, but they're replicas of coins. They have Queen Elizabeth on them. <sighs> trying to get to some of the stuff that I know I haven't shown before. Got a little bit of Halloween left. Oh, here's a piece of jewelry I hope never should have to see again. My hospital bracelet. Bump through. Oh, wow. Yeah, I can see how that would happen, Kellen. See, I have to really watch mine. I try not to run off my Wi-Fi because my Wi-Fi, I, I'm paying by the gig for. And if I can pick up my sister's, hers is, real, hers is too slow for me to live stream with. But it's okay for me just to browse the internet. So I try to pick up on hers instead of using mine and the other day I didn't and I used up a whole bunch because I was watching videos on my phone and I was like oh that was a boo boo so there's a little it's not really Halloween it's it's just a fall necklace I don't get this light deal I mean I have a all kinds of light shining on this stuff and it's still not not working out very well for me. Uh, I've got your package ready, Kellen. I just haven't gotten to the post office. That was on my Friday list, and it rained all day here. It was absolutely horrible. And that's why, I, actually, why I fell was because of the rain. Oh, maybe if I put the light here, that'll work. Of course, now I'm tangled up in everything else. There we go. So, I got that. And then I got these. This one is on a cord. It's not on a chain. So, you can just make that whatever length you want. I think it's an 18 right now. And that one is a $10 item. And then I have great big Halloween bells with little bats <laughs> the openings are little bats <laughs> and i have those both in pierced and clip-ons i have one pair left of each of those at five dollars a pair and what else i got in here to show you Got some, whoops. Got some new Christmas bracelets. They are four dollars each in this sale only. They may be something different the next time I offer them. Oh, just running through the stock here. Getting a mix of stuff. Ow, that hurts. Ooh, I found some more dog charms. Huh. Didn't know I had more dog charms. That's a good thing. Or maybe it's just a box that says dog charms and it has something completely different in it. No, it's got doggies in it. Oh boy, more doggies.
here. I got stuff. Dee -dee -dee. Uh, so that's just more more doggy stuff that I have. I'm just putting random things up here. People can watch it and tell me if they're interested later. This one is one of the uh, recycled sheet music items. It's an antique brass with the insert of sheet music. Nice little filigree bracelet. And that one is $20. So, just like I said, I'm just showing stuff. And hopefully people will come back later and buy it. I have never had a show where I only had three people before. Uh, this one, I do not know what this metal is. I have written to this company and asked them about this bezel. They cannot tell me. However, I can tell you that mine, I have been wearing for eight years now, has never turned green, has never turned anything. Still looks just like this. Um, I tested it and it is nickel free and lead free. Oops. So... That's all I can tell you. I've had people ask me about that bezel. And I'm like, well, I can't get an answer from the company. But I can tell you that I have worn mine for over eight years. And it still looks just like this. Uh, this one was made from a song called Toodaloo, I'll Be Seeing You from 1930. And it is $20. This is another antique brass one. A little Victorian style chain bracelet with the music. I do not know if I wrote the song. Yeah, this one was from a song called Old Playmate from 1931. I try to put the names on them if I can so that the person getting it can uh, go listen to the song and see what it sounded like. Uh, this is another Victorian style. These were on a little bit small. Not too bad, but a little bit small. And from that same company, uh, again, I can't tell you. I'm, I'm thinking it's probably stainless steel but someone suggested pewter but I don't believe it's pewter because well, I just don't <laughs> so this one is also $20 all of this stuff I do myself then I have the link ones. This is called Washing the Blues from My Soul from 1933. And I really tried to follow the actual music as much as I could on this one. And it is also $20. It's a seven and a half inch bracelet, but it, it does have a little extender on it. In case your arm is a little bit chunkier than that, you can still wear it. And it is... There we go. So, that's another one. Then I have an assortment of hair clips. These are the brass ones with the music in it, and they are $5 for a pair. 
good little stocking stuffers for a gift for anyone you know that likes music. I also have Silver Tone in that one. And then I have these that are like a bobby pin type. They're also $5. I'm just going through the box here. And just showing some stuff. Here's another of the bracelets, only it is a square link. This one is, if I had a girl like you. And if you had a girl like her, you could buy her this bracelet for $20. And then I have a copper one. It's the only copper bezel you got. It kind of... And this one is from 1930. I'm in the market for you. Actually, I'm in the market for a good place to go metal detecting. But, but hey. <laughs> Alrighty. So... Oh, what have I got here? Angels and doggies. Okay. Alright. Clear my, my station here. Like I said, I do not know where my audience went. I'm not very happy about that. But could be everybody's just broke too. It's the end of the month. I'm going to grab one more thing to show. And, and then I think I'm going to give up because. Truthfully, I am in a lot of pain right now. <laughs> and ow, 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 ow. It hurts when I drop things on the floor. <laughs> All right. Come on out. All right. I have the little angels. They were a big hit the last time. This pair is red and green. My lighting is just awful. I'll have to work on that before I do any more shows in this cottage. Try something here. Might be a camera angle deal. Yes, that'll make you dizzy. That'll make you nice and dizzy. There. If I can get them to focus, we'll be in good shape. There we go. So, those are red and green. Ow. Ouch, 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 ouch. I have a lot of different colors. I have... Little tiny... Little tiny clear ones. That gold looking dot is just a reflection. There's actually no gold in the center of that. It's just lighting. There. There's the black and white. And the green. Yeah. 
angels are five a pair. There are the purples. And the blue. One more different color, and I can't get it off. I also have there we go. Hi, Fox, how are you? And we have the red ones. So I have red, blue, purple, crystal, red, and green green and black and white in those. I do have two pair of the blue. So those are the choices and they are five dollars a pair. Yeah that's that's bad. I, I that explains why I haven't seen Kellen much in the last couple days. So, uh, there's Randy. <laughs> Gee, now I can start all over. Randy's here. <laughs> or he can just watch what he missed. So, did they win, Randy? Did your daughter's team win? I'm just putting the I have this Christmas tree display that I use in my see if I can show you anyway it's just a little wooden Christmas tree and I put all my my angels on the Christmas tree oh that's too bad Randy oh, I'm sure they I'm sure they did the best they could. All right. So, anyway, we just ran through the angels there. Oh. Got to find something here that I want to show Randy. I have, I'm still looking for beagles. Oh, good. And I made it to the championship game. So, well, that's good. Um, I'm still trying to find some little beagle charms. Um, I lost my... Okay, here's my... I did find these. And they are... Ah, ah, come here. Woof. Oh, as the beagle would say. Oh, okay, these are almost an inch. But they're not that heavy. They're just large <laughs> they're large and in charge beagles so i did find those i have ordered some other ones i don't know when they will show up but anyway i do have those beagles now those are number 10 on the pick your pup chart <laughs> got the pick your pups back this week uh, we have what I think is a Greyhound or something similar to a Greyhound. We have Poodles. We have Dalmatians. We have something that looks very much like an Irish Sutter. Uh, we got some little Scotties. Uh, some little Mutts. Some Dalmatians. Not Dalmatians. Um, Dachshunds. And some more little mutts and some big ones that I can't tell if they're bulldogs or Rottweilers. <laughs> and then I have some other ones too. But okay, that that's fine, Randy. Uh, yeah, I'm really not feeling too great. I took a second fall in seven days. Uh, I fell 
Friday night when I was coming down the steps because I went to show my sister my new creation of the, the Christmas ornaments made from the Jenga blocks. And she's a Grinch fan. So I thought, okay, if my sister says he's a good looking Grinch, he's a good looking Grinch and I can make more. So it was raining, but I decided to go up to her house anyway. And when I came out, I had a handful of these little, little Grinches. So I wasn't holding on to the rail and I slipped on the handicap ramp and fell and severely bruised my ribs. Fortunately, I did not break them, but they are definitely severely bruised. I spent about four hours in the ER yesterday getting scanned and planned. Oh, I found another pair of uh angels that are black so those did not get in that countdown just add that to the color wheel um, uh, these are some little Christmas uh, refrigerator magnets they are made with replicas of uh, the old milk bottle tops and they say Merry Christmas pasteurized milk we use seal right sanitary service whatever that means so anyway we have those for three dollars uh, I had yeah, there's a bunch of stuff that I have that I've already shown. And because I'm in pain, I'm not going to go back and show them again. But I also, I have some Christmas ornaments. Let me get rid of the Grinches and the, uh, that are made with the old sheet music and, uh, old wooden thread spools. This one is made from Silent Night. And it says, all is calm, all is bright. And that one is a, a larger spool. I have smaller ones also. And we just have an assortment. Here's the smaller ones. This is kind of how they would make um, Randy's in Michigan. I know where Randy is. He's in Flint, Michigan, my former home. I wish I had moved there when I came here, but I couldn't afford it when they fix their car insurance laws in the state of Michigan. I will be back because I love Michigan. I miss Michigan. Another Christmas bracelet with a little bell ornament on it. Um, four on that one. Uh, I don't know where my usual crowd is, but they're not here. And well, I'm glad Randy made it because <laughs> Randy and Kellen are usually my my guys. But Kellen's having internet problems, and Randy supports his daughter on all of her activities and that's a great thing i wish i had had a father that did that because mine did not mine did everything in his power to keep my sister and i from being involved in any activities he was one of those guys that thought girls shouldn't be educated they shouldn't um participate in sports they should basically be Sweet little housewives. <laughs> you know, I guess that's the best way to put it. Oh, I'm just putting a few of the Christmas up. Now, if anybody's looking for something specific, uh, this would be a good time to let me know because my sister and I are going 
we're going to the big city. <laughs> we live, this is a real small town. And Tuesday, we are going to a couple of larger cities that have craft supply places that we do not have access here. So if there is something specific you would like me to be on the lookout for to create something for you, uh, just leave a comment in the comment section and I will certainly do that. I'm not going to be able to spend a lot of money, but if I see something that I know uh, one of you is interested in, then I will surely pick some, pick it up and try to create a design for you. Uh, uh, I will be doing my Monday night uh, Lodo coin collecting show over on my other channel. And we're going to do some giveaway on that because we received a wonderful package that had something for me and then it had many extra items. So I'm looking forward to giving some of that stuff away. Somebody, somebody's going to be real happy to complete items in their penny collection because someone sent me a penny that I needed and sent me a couple more just like it for giveaways. Got these little apples there for teacher for a teacher. I have to stand up for a minute. Oh oh the pain. <sighs> Y'all have no idea. I am whew, I am bruised up. Yeah, Michigan, Michigan. I love Michigan. I want to go back. Okay. Flint, Michigan. You got to be tough to be from Flint. I'm telling you. When I first moved to Michigan, I moved to a little town right outside of Flint called Clio. I love Clio. There's not much to it, but I like it. Uh, but I didn't have a car. I had just sold my motorhome. And I had to call this little transit bus to come take me to my doctor. My new doctor who was in a place called Grand Blanc. <laughs> People want to call it Grand Blanc, but no, it's Grand Blanc. Uh, and we went on this bus. I went through the absolute worst parts of Flint. And my friend asked me to describe Flint. And I told her to look in the dictionary under urban block. Ah, urban blight. My life, my light just tripped and hit me in the face. I told her, look under urban blight. And that's Flint. But I, I love Michigan. I like the climate. I have a lot of good friends there. And I miss it. I miss, of course, I, I work with a band that is from that area. And I miss, I miss working with the band on a more regular basis. So anyway, what I just put up there is I got horseshoes. Now I'm, I'm, my horses are on the way, but the horses are very popular where I live now in the Southwest corner of the state of Virginia. So my sister asked me to get horses. And so I have ordered them. I have reordered cats. Um, oh man, it, 
James, it's a whole new, I have pain all the time because I have three different forms of arthritis, but this is a whole new kind of pain that I have not experienced since I used to race cars back in the 70s and 80s and I cracked a couple of ribs back in the late 70s uh, in, a, in a stock car accident. And of course, I was young then, so it didn't bother me as bad as it is now. It, it's... You know, with all the arthritis and other things that I have going on, it's, yeah, it's something. Wasn't ready for falling twice uh, in the period of seven days for two very different reasons. So, anyway, gang, um, uh, I'm probably going to do another sale in a couple of weeks be a little more organized. Um, I, after I fell the first time, I kind of got out of, out of sync. I had everything. I had set everything up at the Galax Virginia farmer's market so that I could see what I had, and get pictures of it and sort out what I wanted to offer online and then I was supposed to do a show Thursday night. So I resorted things for that show and it got rained out. And then I was supposed to do one yesterday. And of course, Friday night I fell. So that didn't happen either. So this, this was less than organized and... I apologize for that, but what are you going to do? <laughs> I am going to do my, my coin show Monday night, and I'm going to do my detecting show on Wednesday night. And I think there's going to be a time change on the detecting show. Uh, I have noticed week after week that... When I start at 8, a whole bunch of people come in at 9. So there must be somebody else's stream that is ending at 9, and then they're coming over into mine. So I think I'm probably just going to start, begin, begin mine at 9. And I just try that out. Um, I don't think he's still here anymore, but earlier... Uh, we had the legendary Robert Ferguson from California, one of my absolute favorite metal detectorists. If you have not watched Robert, you got to do it. He's just, my, he's just an old surfer that knows how to read a beach. He can find some stuff, boy, I'm telling you. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to. I think I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, if you see anything in the video uh, that you're interested in and I didn't give a price or you have any questions or you want a special order, something similar, uh, just drop me an email. I probably should post my email again. Okay, there's my email address, and that is also my PayPal address. If you don't want to use PayPal, uh, you can also use this link. I think I posted it way at the beginning. No, I, ha I did it on the other stream. I had to restart the stream. So anyway, if you want to pay by square instead, just send me an email and I'll send you the link. And on that note, I think I am going to cut this one short.
uh, Randy, if there's any, I'm still looking for the dolphin. I know you wanted dolphins. I haven't found them yet. Not, I mean, I have found some, but the ones I have found were pretty cost prohibitive. And I think I can do better if I just keep looking a little longer. So anyway, y'all, there's my email. If you see anything you want out of this, uh, I said, just email me and we'll, we'll work it. I know Kellen had a bad internet problem and they, they're not getting him another modem until sometime this week. So he'll have to go back and watch. But anyway, I appreciate all of you coming over. Uh, I'll be back on my regular channel tomorrow. Uh, and we will see you then. Thanks so much. Bye, everybody. M3 slept through the whole thing. He's back there in the in the wilderness. Somewhere back there. I'm trying to there point to him. Yeah, he's been out for the count for the whole show. <laughs> oh, well, he doesn't wear jewelry, so he wasn't interested. All right, we'll see you. Uh, please, if you can spare a few bucks order something because i'm still paying for health care out of pocket until october the first which means yesterday's visit and um prescriptions and everything i had to pay pay some cash on one step forward two back <laughs> but it's okay i'll get through it all right guys thank you for coming fox run forge Randy McCormick, Lucky James Eller, Kellen L, Tiffany Twisted, uh, I think I got everybody, Robert Ferguson, uh, I think I got everybody, that's the smallest crowd I've ever had in here, but a select bunch of good folks, so, all right guys, you can re-watch it later, order a whole bunch of stuff, and we'll see you. Bye-bye.